In a world of EMS podcasters, EMS Office Hours is the only live podcast bringing you the latest topics and opinions in EMS. Turn down your scanner and turn up your speakers as we join Jim Hoffman and Josh Knapp on their latest EMS podcasting journey. Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours. Guys, uh, been a little busy, hard to get on here and jump on these podcasts these days. Uh, I was actually scheduled to move, uh, sold the house, and about a week and a half before closing, a 50-foot or so tree fell on my house. So, needless to say, the move got canceled. The buyers decided they didn't want to buy the house. And I am back to square one with a big gigantic hole in the roof and damage to one of the upstairs bedrooms and some water damage and blah, blah, blah. So dealing with that stuff, of course, gets in the way of what I like to do, which is, of course, the podcasting and sending you guys great emails and creating content and a lot of good stuff. So, but today, I'm kind of want to talk a little bit about that, right? Because I want to actually ask you... Have you ever felt deflated in EMS? And when I say deflated, I mean, you know, that feeling that you can't do anything right. No matter what you do, you don't see any improvement. Um, You feel like everything's working against you, right? Whether it's uh, the calls you're getting are all kind of BS calls or your manager's up up your ass or your partner really sucks or you know you do the right thing and uh, you get no recognition or you get no even a, a nod from somebody who did the right thing right and you can get deflated right I mean I've had times where I've had like a really hairy call and you know the IV was tough the drugs were trying to figure out calculations and just a stressful call right but everything in the end came together, right? The patient had a good outcome. The nurses and doctors were, 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 were happy that everything got done. And the doctor actually might have said something and said, hey, you did a really good job. You know, you, you sit there and the, doing your chart and you do the chart just perfectly. Your documentation's great and your times are all meshing and everything's great. And then you get an email from the billing department that you forgot the patient's social security number. Or that the phone number you put didn't match. Or that you didn't put a phone number for the patient. And what happens? Well, like I said, you start feeling deflated, right? And listen, this happens, I think, in every job, right? Any job you're in, even if you're working at McDonald's, right? You're going to feel deflated. You're you're working the, the register at Mickey D's and you're doing really great. And you get some customer who wants to just complain about whatever you do doesn't matter if the fries are hot or cold or if you get the right uh, dipping sauce or whatever the case may be, right? It takes that one customer to kind of knock the wind out of your sails. And that's what happens, like I said, I think every job, and I don't think EMS is any different than that. So I guess the, the, the question is, is how do you stop this, right? How do you get around it? Well, you don't stop it, right? Because no matter what you do, it's going to come times when you feel that way, okay? Happens to me at least twice a week, right? Where I get frustrated about something and I feel deflated. I feel like I'm really doing a good job or stuff is really moving along in a good way, you know? And it just stops. Something comes along and knocks the wind out of my sails. And you get, it comes hard to keep that good attitude, right? Keep that attitude of, you know, what you're doing really matters in this business, Right? And it's frustrating, right? So what do we do, though, to kind of get around this? Well, that's a challenge. And I think it's a personal challenge for you to decide what it is that you can do to get around this. Um, Two things that that I do to help me get around it. One thing is I try to attack whatever it is that knocked the wind out of my sails, whatever it is. I try to look at it to see how what, what I can do to prevent it from happening again, right? 
maybe it's not forgetting the social security number on the billing, right? Maybe it's, uh, you know, kind of uh, refreshing my knowledge on a drug or a calculation or an EKG strip, right? Another thing that, that kind of helps me is, is building my, my, my resources, building my knowledge, right? My internal knowledge base on something, Right, so if I feel like I'm getting, I get the wind knocked out of me. I'm like really feeling down that that this job is just a waste. I'm getting, I'm not getting paid a lot of money. There's not a lot of, not a lot of room for for upward movement. This job really sucks. I hate EMS. The people call for bullshit. Right, I start feeling that way. I start saying to myself, okay, what can I do to change that? What is out there that I can get involved in that can redirect my energy into something that really can make a difference, right? And I mentioned this in an email a few days ago, how uh, sepsis is one of those things that I'm, I'm kind of focusing on these days and something that I've been coming to realize that it's something we can really make a difference in uh, pre-hospitally uh, for patients. But now I've also been looking at a lot of stuff when it comes to things like uh, compartment syndrome and uh, hyper K and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of got into that from a CME that I attended. It kind of opened my eyes a little bit and really kind of uh, uh, put it together for me where you got to think about that that crush syndrome, that compartment syndrome, right, that rhabdomyolysis, it's not always from uh, somebody getting caught under a train, right, or getting pinned between two cars or whatever. It can be as simple as somebody that falls down and gets their legs caught underneath them. They're really heavy, and now they're, they're sitting on their legs for hours at a time, right? In essence, that kind of is a little bit of a, of a, a crush injury, right? A compartment injury because the patient's body weight is, is, is kind of laying on their, on their lower extremities for a X amount of for an extended period of time, and they're just too big to move to get the legs underneath them, or they're too old to move, or whatever the case may be. And that kind of led me to believe that these are things that, as pre-hospital providers, as EMS professionals, we got to kind of look out for, right? So that's something that I'm kind of refreshing my my knowledge on. Something that I'm kind of looking out for now when I deal with these patients that have fallen and been on the ground for an extended period of time right? Kind of looking at the bigger picture, right? And I encourage you to do that too, guys. You know, it, it can be hard, like I said, to, to get past that feeling, you know, when, when you feel so deflated in this job and, and you know, you want to just scream that, that you get something in return for the sacrifices that you've made or you keep making every day. And sometimes that's just not going to happen, man. We got to keep keep pushing on and, and be the professionals that we are. We can bitch to each other, right? That's what this show is about. It's what this podcast is about, is to be able to complain about this stuff to each other, right? And share our frustrations and still maintain that level of professionalism when we get on scene and we interact with patients and families and doctors and all that, right? So, but in the meantime to stay focused, to stay stay motivated, to not get deflated to the point where you let it burn you out and, and start affecting your professionalism is to find that thing or that, that, that thing you can do to help you kind of get past it. And like I said, those two things that I mentioned that I do, uh, trying to figure out what I can do so it doesn't happen again, and to find something that relates to EMS that I've either forgotten about, that maybe I don't focus enough on, right? And to do that and make that my focus and push me past those feelings of, of, of feeling deflated. All right, so that's it for me, guys, for today on the show here. I hope you can, I hope this maybe rings true a little bit for you and that you kind of feel what I'm saying here, what I'm getting at. Um, I'd love to know what you guys do when it comes to this, right? What do you guys do when it comes to having this, this feeling of, 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 you know, overwhelm, this feeling of getting the wind knocked out of you and, you know, like you want to quit this job, right? 
Um, I'd love to know what you guys do. Let me know. Send me an email. It's contact at emsofficehours.com. Leave a message below in the comments below. And guys, do me a favor. If you like these shows, you, you feel it's entertaining, you're getting something out of it, even if you hate it, do me a favor below to the link to get to iTunes. Subscribe on iTunes. Leave me a comment. Leave me a review there. One star, five stars, whatever. Right? It really helps me on iTunes get the, the ranking higher, which gets me more listeners. Right? And those more listeners helps me engage with the EMS professionals out there. Right? And that's what I'm trying to do here. Right? Just engaging and being part of the conversation and wanting you to be part of the conversation as well. And I'm talking about the conversation that goes on in the front of the ambulance, not the nonsense that goes on when you're sitting in front of your boss and you're stroking things because you, what you think they want to hear, what you should be saying. Right? Let's get real. Let's talk about real stuff. And that's what I try to do here on the show. All right, guys, that's it. Um, just an FYI, I'm going to actually have a really cool guest coming up, really great uh, EMS educator coming up in the future. We're going to talk a little bit more in depth about hyper-K and, and, and uh, crush injuries and compartment syndrome and all. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, and he's going to give us some really good insight on that. This guy's a really great educator uh, that I've, I've had the privilege of, of meeting uh, and, and listening to some of the stuff that he's presented out there. So I'm looking forward to that. So stay tuned for that and hopefully get that knocked up within the next uh, week or so. All right, that's it, guys. As always, uh, I am Jim Hoffman. This is EMS Office Hours. Stay safe.